your Dober fantasy players and fantasy football fans. Let's take a look at five NFL wide receivers that could be the top fantasy sleepers this week and beat their Dober projected fantasy point totals for week 13 of the NFL regular season. Amari Cooper is concussed and Michael Crabtree is suspended, but someone has to catch passes from the Raiders quarterback Derek Carr on Sunday against the Giants, and Seth Roberts is likely to be that guy. Roberts posted a disappointing 3.6 Dober fantasy points last week, but he was on the field for 57 snaps, more than any other Oakland receiver. At some point, that playing time will turn into targets, and targets will turn into fantasy points for Roberts. Josh Gordon might be the biggest wild card in fantasy football in Week 13. Most Dober fantasy players remember Gordon for being explosive in 2013 and 2014, but he has not played in a game since that point, thanks to numerous suspensions. Ricardo Lewis and Richard Higgins shouldn't be keeping Gordon off the field. Corey Coleman remains the top dog in the Cleveland lineup, but Gordon could carve out a nice niche too. His ceiling is higher than that of any other middling receiver in Week 13. Eric Decker hasn't put up huge numbers since coming over to Tennessee in free agency, but he's been a consistent target for Marcus Mariota. Decker was on the field on 91% of the Titans snaps last week with Rashard Matthews out of the fold. That only translated into 3.8 Dover fantasy points, but a lot better could be expected this Sunday against Houston. Who is Josh Reynolds, you may ask? He is a 6'3 rookie from Texas A&M who suddenly built a great rapport with Jared Goff just last week against the Saints. Sean McVay loves his three wide receiver sets, and with Robert Woods injured, someone has to step into that slot role. Reynolds took 61 snaps against New Orleans after being on the field for just 85 snaps in the first 10 games of his career, and that could be a sign of things to come. It will only take one or two catches for Reynolds to beat his projected fantasy points total, and he has the ability to have significantly more than that this Sunday at Arizona. Trent Taylor has consistently been targeted in the San Francisco passing game, and if Jimmy Garoppolo takes over under center for an injured C.J. Bethard, that should only boost his chances of wins on Dover play cards against the Bears. Taylor has been the preferred number two target in the 49ers lineup since Pierre Garçon got injured. Though there are challengers to his playing time, like Aldrich Robinson and Kendrick Bourne, Taylor figures to only need three or so receptions to reach his projected fantasy points total this week.